Hello, hello. Welcome hello. back, hello. ladies and gentlemen. How are you? How are you today? Good night, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Good evening, welcome. Teacher. How are you today? I am fine. Excellent. Very good. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. Yeah. That's what I like. That's what I like. Back in action like Jesse Jackson, ready for action. <laughs> sorry, sorry. All right. Who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What information do you remember about yesterday's class? That is correct. Imperatives. Yes. Excellent. That is correct. Imperatives. Can somebody give me an example of an imperative that you remember from yesterday's class? One imperative. Um, better. Very good. Drink water. What else? What else do you remember? Drink water, what else? Eat breakfast, correct. What else? Go for a walk. Go for a walk, what else? What else? Um, Floss your teeth. Perfect. Floss your teeth. What else? Drink eight cups of water every day. Uh huh. Another one. Stretch for five minutes. Excellent. What else? Wear a seat belt. Wear a seat belt. Correct. What else? Do sometimes to challenge your brain. Do something to challenge your brain. Perfect. What else? Get out of calcium. Excellent. Protect your skin. What else? Get enough calcium. Get enough calcium. And the last one. Take, Take a time, time out and write about. about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Perfect. Perfect. Now, this is the information from yesterday's class. At this moment, do you have any questions about this vocabulary? Okay. Let's go ahead and move forward and we're going to be looking at the following activity. For the following activity, we're going to move and look at section number three. Section number three. For section three, we're going to be analyzing this activity. Three point zero. Three point zero. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario sobre tiendas y otros lugares y discutirán dónde pueden conseguir cosas diferentes para los que les gusta ir shopping. Ready, 
Listen, please. Everyone, in this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places, and discuss where you can get different things. Pueden Let's escuchar. By listening and practicing. Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. One. No mucho, teacher. And at a drugstore. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. Okay, now for this activity, you are going to give me five examples here in the discussion forum. For example, you can buy tacos in a taco stand. You can buy underwear at a department store. You can buy a book in a book store. You can buy sandals at the shoe store. You can buy pencils and card stock at the bookstore. You can buy headache pills at the drugstore. Five examples in the discussion forum. Do you understand? Any questions? All right. Ready? Let's go. Jennifer Granados, Katia Carolina, let's go. Jennifer Granados, let's go. Hello, Jennifer.
Hello. Hay alguien ahí. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. All right. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Let me hear your sentences. George, Alberto, let me hear your examples, please. Okay. Uh, you can play. No, you can buy. TV in the mall. Perfect. You can buy a TV at the mall. Katya, another example. You can buy a sweater at the department store. Very good. You can buy a sweater at a department store. Excellent. Katya, Carolina, let me hear your example. All right, Jacqueline, Stephanie, let me hear your example. You can buy a shoes in the shoes store. Excellent. Uh, does anybody have any questions related to this vocabulary? Does anybody have any questions related to this vocabulary? Me, teacher, I have a question. Yes, what is your question? Aquí estaba buscando el traductor Google que en Se podría decir on, in, y at. ¿Cómo? ¿Por qué se pueden decir en bastantes formas? ¿Hay algún momento en específico donde se cambian? ¿O cómo? That is correct. Eh, at, eh, por ejemplo, tú dices, estoy eh, en la gasolinera en el baño. I am at the gas station in the restroom. So at es como para el local y in es como que para más específico. Yeah. Y on eh, sería, por ejemplo, tú dices, yo vivo sobre el Paseo Escalón. I live on Paseo Escalón. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Yes, excellent question. Now, what we're going to do is move forward and we're going to look at the next activity, which is knowledge check. For this activity, you are going to be doing a pronunciation practice, listening. 
Exercise 2. Listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. 1. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Okay. So the question is, where is Jean going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? What is the answer? At, at, the, at the department store. At the department store. All right. Any questions regarding this activity? Any questions regarding this activity? All right. Ready? Let's go. Listening practice. Listening practice. Let's go, Christian Lisandro. Let's go, Jennifer Granados. Let's go, Claudia Roxana. Let's go, Claudia Roxana. Let's go, Jennifer Granados. Let's go, Claudia Roxana. Are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things too. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. anotar cuáles son. Este, la primera, ¿verdad? A de Department the Store. Yes. Number two is cookies for dessert. Three is aspirin. And four is for the drug store to get a new paper. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, ¡Ahí está! ¡Ahí está! 
All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, is everybody finished? Finished. Is everybody finished? Finished. Okay, let's check it out. Are you ready? Yes. Let's yes. check it out. We want to. Okay, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer, please. One volunteer, please. Yes. Okay, Katya. Okay. Es toda la oración. Yes, please. Yes. Where is Jim going to buy this swing suit she needs at the department store? Excellent. Bye. Repeat. Bye. 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 All right, Fatima, number two. Uh, what does mom mean from the supermarket? Cook it for dessert. Excellent. Number three, Anna, Lisette. What does dad need from the drugstore? Aspirin. Aspirin, perfect. Number four, Karen. Where is Mike going to go with his dad? To the drugstore to get a newspaper. Perfect. Excellent. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Applause for the participants. Now, does anybody have any questions related to this information? Do you have any questions? Ok. Eh, en este momento vamos a tomar la foto de asistencia. Eh, me gustaría que todos, por favor, eh, encienda su cámara brevemente y después puede apagar la, foto, la cámara. Ok. Ready? Everybody say cheese. cheese. <laughs> okay, una más. Give me just a second. Eh, 
Everybody say cheese. Thank you. Okay, puede apagarla si gusta. Now we are going to do the attendance. Cuando llame su nombre, por favor, dígame presente o absente. Ana Lisette. Presente. Excellent. Um, Brenda Benitez. Present. Christian Mate. Present, teacher. Cindy Vivas. Cindy Vivas, absent. Claudia Alfaro. Claudia Alfaro, absent. Claudia Mendoza, present. Present. Daris Rivera, Daris, excellent. Diego Serrano Grande, present teacher. Present. Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Present teacher. Eric Xavier Rivas. García. Eric Xavier. Absent. Fátima Guadalupe Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. Present. Glenda Maribel Borja Lemus. Present teacher. Jandel Mariel Goches. Present. Jennifer Beatriz Granados. Present. Excellent. Eremías Alexander Rivas. Present. George Alberto Angel Correa. Present teacher. Jose Jovito Torres. Present. Karen Listet Sandoval. Present. Karen Stephanie Sousa. Present. Karen Zuleima Elena. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Katia Carolina Vivas. Present. Katia Lorena Sanchez. Present, teacher. Manuel de Jesus Sanchez. Manuel de Jesus Sanchez. Absent. Monica Maria Benitez. Monica Maria Benitez. Absent. Nady Ivis Mendez. Present teacher. Present. Noemi Lisette Gabriel Mejia. Present teacher. Rosemary del Milagro Perez. Rosemary del Milagro Perez. Absent. Santos Miguel Martinez. Present teacher. Silvia Esperanza Garcia. Present teacher. Jacqueline Stephanie Garcia. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. Now we are going to continue 
with the next activity. At this moment, does anybody have any questions? Daris Marisol dice estoy acá. Daris Marisol. I hear. Okay, quiero ver. Daris Marisol. Okay, le puse presente. That's good. Thanks. Yeah. That is Marisol Rivera. Okay. All right. Now, what we are going to do is move forward to the following activity. Lesson 3.3. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán a sonar natural cuando estén diciendo sustantivos compuestos. Listen, please. Todos escuchan? Yes. Okay. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas the word by itself is a noun, station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is, whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website vocaroo.com. After you finish this activity, vocaroo.com. vocaroo.com. So, todos vamos a ir a vocaroo.com y nos vamos a grabar. Stress and discomfort. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. And when you finish, you're going to stop. Guardar y compartir. Click. Copy. And then put it on the discussion forum. Añade una publicación, título, compound nouns. Hey, aquí, you paste y enviar. Any questions? 
Any questions? No. Are you ready? Yes. All right, you will have five minutes, five minutes to complete the activity. Let's go. Jennifer, let's go. Neda, let's go. Jennifer, let's go. Hello, Jennifer. Hola Jennifer. Está por ahí. Jeremia. Hello. Hola, hola. Hola. ¿Qué estamos haciendo? Que se me apagó la compu. Ándale. ¿Qué estamos haciendo? Vamos a grabar lo que acabamos de estar viendo ahí. En la plataforma y lo vamos a subir ahí al foro de discusión. Lo vamos a grabar en bocaru.com. Ya. Yeah. Era post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo así que lo vamos a grabar? Se lo vamos a, vamos a grabar a nosotros diciendo eso. Sí, sí. Y lo subimos a la plataforma. Así es. ¿Y en qué aplicación lo grabamos? En la de celular. En esa que se llama, no, en esa que se llama eh, Bocaru. Es Bocaru con dos ojos. Bocaru. La tenemos que descargar. Sí, ¿verdad? No. En Play Store. Mm, a mí de un solo me tira, bueno, de la computadora de un solo me tira. Es que, si sí, solo la... vas a meterte a Google Chrome, puede ser. O Google, <ríe> no, no tiene que descargar que... nada. Solo escriba Boca Ru en Google y es todo. Ya, yeah. thank you, teacher.
All right. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer, one volunteer. All right, Jacqueline, everybody please listen and pay attention to Jacqueline. Teacher, digo uno o todas las palabras. Todas las palabras, por favor. Okay. Box office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Perfect. Excellent. Applause for Miss Jacqueline. Good job. Let me have one more volunteer, please. One more volunteer. Fatima. Ok, tiene que levantar la mano. Fatima levantó la mano. No, así no. Jeremías, así no. Tiene que levantarla con así con la manita azul. Ajá, con la manita azul en la aplicación. No, uh -huh. Go ahead, Fátima, Guadalupe, la escuchamos. Supermarket, bookstore, supplement store. Excellent. Applause for Miss Fatima. Thank All you. All right. Teacher. Thank you. Okay. Let me have Nady Evis. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore. Department store. Perfect. Perfect. Applause. Okay. I know that everybody wants to participate, but we have to continue, guys, because of the time. So, in the next activity, we are going to be looking at the following one 3.5. By the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán preposiciones de lugar para dar direcciones. Además, practicarán una conversación, la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un entorno de la vida real. Prepositions of place. Everybody, listen, please. Listen, please. In this class, you'll learn Todos escuchan? prepositions of place in order yes. to yes. Yes. All right. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. 
The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We can also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. Post Office? Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Where is Dam's Drug Store? Okay, so for this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to write the question by escribir la pregunta. Where is Gus's gas station? Y va a responderla dependiendo de lo que dice en el mapa. Y lo va a escribir aquí en el discussion forum. For example, where is Gus's gas station? Gus's gas station is across from the hospital. Where is the hospital? The hospital is on Center Street 3. Do you understand? Yes. Any questions? Oh. All right. Ready? Let's do this. Let's go, Jennifer. Let's go, Jennifer. Let's go, Brenda. Let's go, Brenda. Let's go, Christian. Let's go, Christian. Let's go, Jennifer. Let's go, Jennifer.
Um, ahorita quiero ver. Oh, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Para el mapa. Hoy oh, tal vez lo puedo ver aquí. Es que casi no se mira. Pero ahí está. Sí. La estación de gas es esta. Ahí está Jennifer, nos va a compartir pantalla. Quiero ver, ahí está. Sí, sí, sí. Ahí está. ¿Y cuáles son las, en dónde son las preguntas? Ah, ahí mismo en la plataforma está. ¿Dónde está la gasolinera de Gus? ¿Dónde está el hospital? ¿Dónde está la oficina de correo? ¿Dónde está la librería de la segunda avenida? Ay, aquí me veo la letra. ¿Dónde está la droguería de Down? Solamente veo el hospital, la gasolinera. Correo, quiero ver dónde está. No lo veo. Igual ya va a terminar la clase. Un minuto. <risa> Ah, ya vi dónde está la droguería, está en la segunda avenida. En the second avenue. Sí. Es que no sé cómo se dice. Sí, no tengo ni idea cómo se dice. Second avenue. En the second avenue. Entre la segunda avenida y la calle. Entre, entre, como se decía, entre aquí con mi foto, como se decía, entre. Entre next to in the next to in, in no, the next to in the second between between center. Oh, no sé. Soy mala para la dirección. Podemos, podemos, podemos bueno, decir in the next to in the center street. Podemos decir in the next to in the center street. The gas station está, ¿cómo se dice está? Está entre la primera avenida y la Center Street. First Avenue y Center Street. Creo yo que todo esto acá es la primera avenida. No, yo creo que esa sería Next to Hospital, no sería entre la primera avenida y la, centro, la calle central. Sería Next to Hospital. Pero lo que pasa es que está la calle en medio. 
No puede ser a la par. El hospital, sí, quizás sería a la par de, del, no sé qué es eso, oficina postal, quizás. Entonces podría ser que este, no, pero es que tampoco está. Entonces podríamos poner que está next to Pierce, o sea, la primera avenida. Es que la verdad ni veo ni qué está a la par, pero sí, creo que es la calle porque veo un carrito como que va pasando ahí. O podríamos poner que frente al parqueo. Ah, bien, aquí estaba. Frente al, al parqueo. ¿Cómo se dice parqueo? Parking. Ah, el parking. Sí, sí. De gas estacionado. Ah, sí, aquí Sí, sí, sí. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time's up, time's up, time's up. Please continue working on the platform, and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Good night. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.